Hi, welcome back to Quinn Wilpaw Creations tutorial videos. Um, today I'm going to uh, show a um, Zoom class video that I held last Sunday um, on how to do quill work, how I do quill work. Um, I have a Facebook group that I provide a beading circle Zoom class every Sunday afternoon. Um, so for three hours I teach them things that they want to learn or just things I want to try so it's uh, a real good time to get together and um, be a part of um, a good group of women so um, this last Sunday we did I, I showed them how to do uh, few stitches. Um, I'm a self-taught quill worker, um, so this is just how I do it. Everyone does it themselves, does their own, just like beadwork. So this is the first piece I have I ever made when I was teaching myself how to do quill work. The metal was straight quill work. The purple is zigzag, and the yellow and red is the two color zigzag and then the outline um, so we're going to do the straight quill work um, I drew two lines the width of the quills I want on there um, and this is the straight quill work you want to make sure you're um, straight quill work the quills are going straight across um, from line to line so I can get my needle up on the top side of my leather. I use well, stiff leather or stiff pillow to do my quill work on. So um, I get my loop. Um, I go the width of the quill to go back to the um, other side, making a loop and make sure my quill is secured in that loop. I'm going to bend that quill over and make sure it goes straight across to the line on the other side. Um, you can use either tweezers or needle nose pliers or something to bend that quill back if you want. <clears throat> but I'm going to just come up uh, the quill's width um, and then I'm going to wrap that quill around my thread. And then I will push that quill over and make sure it's where it needs to be. And then I will go back down. And that secures it on the other end. Um, this, this quill is not going to make another wrap. So I'm going to cut it off in the middle. Um, and I'm going to add another quill right into the first bow. Um, so this creates less bulk than if I was to just add in um, cross. So once I get that quill in the worked in there, I'll go back down and create that loop to secure. Now that quill is long enough to go over there and then make another full wrap. Um, this has to work the quill. Make sure you get it in the spot you want it. Um, while it's still soft and pliable, um, once it dries, you can't you, you can't manipulate them anymore, and um, or they'll crack and break. So you want to um, adjust it as much, and you can use whatever needle, needle nose pliers, tweezers, whatever. Um, just to get the quill on that straight line. Um, it's real important if you want to have a straight line to pay attention to where um, the quill is. It's just getting used to the big of the quill and how the quill um, works. 
so then so when I <clears throat> got that call secured on the, that side and just going back and forth securing those coils on each side just um, takes a little bit of manipulation and it takes some time but the result is worth it so I have a, this leather working tool that I have that I use to flatten the clothes once they're where I want them to be. And just kind of pushing them in. And it, it is worth it to take a couple minutes to work small section at a time. Now I have to add another quill in there. Put, push it in as good as I can to get it secure. And just might have to poke something in there to kind of clean out that quill a little bit. But um, then we're just go back up where you need to be with your needle right next to the quill before get to the top side and go back down the width of the quill just right next to it you want to be sure you go in that width of the quill so you're not going to squish the quill because it will look messy and You want both those ends to be um, sharp and clean. So now I'm going to do a zigzag. <coughs> and we'll just take two quills, different color. flatten them out and flatten them out um, makes it easier to um, put together so we're just going to make sure there's two quills together two colors secure them in there just like the one but but the zigzag you're not going to go straight down you're just and you're not going to loop over your thread you're just going to go back and forth so this will turn down and it'll go right next to the one before with the white on top with the red is on top coming out so you're not going you're not looping over the thread the thread is just creating that little loop that secures it down and you're going right next to each other to create that zigzag. So when you're pulling it down there, make sure you're positioning it. Yep. See, then you're going to get white and red, white and red, and that's your zigzag. <coughs> so I'm going to secure that side down. And, and you just kind of continue on like that. And that is the single zigzag is in the purple there. And then that's the double zigzag um, is the red and yellow. So um, also on there was a straight line stitch. And I get up my needle to the uh, top side. and secure my quill where I want it to start. I'll come back up close to um, 
close to the quill before put my needle up top side and uh, I'm going to loop my quill around that thread um, <clears throat> my hands can't do it <laughs> I wish but so we're gonna um, twist that quill around your thread and And then uh, put my needle right down the width of the the width of the quill. Make sure you're gi giving that quill room to lay flat and not be all bunched up and squished. And pull my needle back up to the top side, and that will secure that first loop. And then that's what I'll just continue looping my quill over my thread and securing it down. So it's um, easier for me if I turn my quill over right near where it's going to be. Um, then I don't have to worry about it breaking or snapping. So I'm just keeping it right. Uh, tight work. I guess is what you want to call it. Um, I'm just going to keep wrapping it around. Um, securing down each stitch. And that will give you just um, give an outline and you just continue to do that and that's your straight line and just turning it over your thread and securing it down your quilt's length to go down in there and secure it again and there it is kind of got to work it around to make sure it's laying right and that's your straight line and Thanks for, uh, if you want to be a part of the group or the um, Sunday Beating Circle Sessions, just stop by and join my group, or you can go to my website at www.quinwellpawcreations.com and check out the supplies and stuff that I have for the things that we learn how to make. So, see you next time. Thanks for stopping by.